Good morning and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going to the gym to train push. We're gonna be talking about my new business venture. We're gonna be talking about the plans here during my time in Australia. First, let's caffeinate. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. If you're watching this, first, thank you. Second, 50.4% of you aren't subscribed. If you enjoy the content, if you like what I do, would like to help support the channel, help me grow, please do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. For more clips of me pretending to read books, and back to the video. Okay, hello, we are back. Figured I'd show you what I'm having for breakfast over here. Starting off with some Australian organic oats. No idea what makes oats organic, but you can move. A little bit of full cream milk. This milk is weird. So when they say full cream, they really mean it's very creamy. Bit of honey. And I figured I'd show you my supplements that I'm currently taking. So we've got some vitamin D, zinc, vitamin C, a multivitamin, which is probably overkill with, with all that stuff anyway. Ashwagandha, a probiotic. Shout out to my IBS brothers and sisters out there. I take a strong antihistamine. I take it for my skin and my hay fever. Gonna eat this, head to the gym, and get ready for the day. A lot to talk about, a lot to discuss, a lot to do, a lot to fill in on. It's been a week. One of the first things I want to touch on is what I'm doing here in Australia. As a lot of you might know if you've watched the previous videos or you've been following me on Instagram, I did recently quit my job. I did move to Australia and I did all of that to pursue my passion, which is fitness. And ultimately what that means is getting back into coaching. Very lucky, I've advertised it a very small amount on Instagram. I've had three amazing clients sign up so far, which has been brilliant. I'm looking to take on an extra two to bring me up to five. I don't want to bite off more than I can chew too early. I want to be able to make sure that I'm able to give a, a good experience to all of my clients so that they're actually getting the most out of coaching. I have two spots available right now for online coaching with me. If you are interested, please click on the first link in the description, fill out my application form, and I will be in touch very soon. So I'm just on my way to the gym. A couple of things. Number one, you might notice the weather. Not great. Very hit or miss here in Sydney since I've been here. Had a couple of scorching days like i'm talking like 35 degrees uv 13 like wow and then more days just like this where it's like 22 23 degrees i'm wearing a long sleeve top the weird thing about here is the uv is high all the time even now like you need sun cream on the last thing we want while we're here skin cancer yeah, it's pretty hilly around sydney too especially where i am in the eastern suburbs i'm currently staying in randwick um, but my gym is based down at Coogee. A little 20 25 minute stroll down to the gym nice active warm-up yeah we're gonna jump into a push day let's go chilling out by the beach like it's cloudy right now but honestly still got a sunbed still got a tan it's UV 10 little protein shake chill out for an hour head back up do some work I can't complain life is good okay hi I am just back in the door from the beach I got a little burrito and I got a coffee and I figured you know what while I have a little bit of a glow from the sun I'll give you a little bit of a look at how we're, how we're currently looking tan update meh still feel like the palest man here quite lean Yeah, not, not bad, but I did have a big a cheat day essay. May or may not have had 24 nuggets from McDonald's, a little Kit Kat, some stuff. I really haven't eaten badly since I've been here, but I just haven't eaten as well as I would like to. I'm trying to get back on track with that a little bit. But yeah, this is how I'm looking. We're gonna eat, chill out, 
and uh, do a little bit of work because I've got some work to do for the evening. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so update time. I mean, how is Australia? I've been here a week. What are my plans? What am I doing? Like, Australia is different than I expected. I have to be honest. It, it's not at all what I had imagined it to be like based on what I had seen from people. Very American. For anybody who's been to America or anybody who's from America, it, it's very American. The, the road signs, the shops, the layouts, the supermarkets, everything feels quite American. I actually thought it would be a lot more English based on, you know, I'm, I'll talk about that. I'm staying, as I mentioned earlier, in the eastern suburbs. I would say a lot of it is like very old. Do I like it? Yeah. The lifestyle here is nice. The, the weather, I know today wasn't the greatest, but the weather in general, just warm. People are in a good mood. The people here seem to be happier, healthier, fitter overall. This is one of the things that really stood out to me is like, everybody seems really happy. So everyone's glowing. Tan helps, but like everybody has a nice natural glow to them. The lifestyle is certainly healthier. You know, people are really into their fitness, whether it's running or the gym or anything. So I feel right at home there in terms of that. Certainly, you know, I miss, I miss my family. Sometimes, sometimes it's hard, especially I'm, I'm staying alone and I have another at least two and a half weeks of being alone in this apartment. And a little bit of advice for anybody who's going over, try and book to stay with somebody if you can. I'm gonna do a full video on like the pros and cons of living in Australia in a couple of weeks time. Give me, give me a little bit more time to settle in. As I said, I'm only here a week and two days, so I haven't got a full impression of the place yet, I guess. In terms of Tinder, in terms of me and my plans, I was talking to my friends about this and I suppose for, for me and, and this YouTube thing and Instagram and everything like that, I, I'm trying to relaunch a, a brand, so to speak. You know, if you were to, it sounds a bit cringy, a bit corny to refer to myself and this YouTube as a brand, but I've recently started a TikTok. I'm gonna put the link down here to my TikTok. I would really appreciate it if you went and followed it. I'm really enjoying actually making the short form content. And I've started putting a lot more content back onto Instagram as well, and particularly Reels and YouTube Shorts. I've been uploading a lot of YouTube Shorts. So honestly, it's just about exposure and getting myself back out there again, you know, getting impressions back up across the board. Very strange trying to grow a social media again after five years of, of not, of, of essentially turning it off for five years. And now it's like, turn it, let's turn it back on. What the hell? How do we do that? Yeah, it's been it's been fun. I've been quite grateful for the content creation side of things since I came here because it's kept me really busy. It's distracted me from the fact that, you know, I am over 17,000 kilometers away from home. So that's it's been a welcome distraction. Yeah, I guess they're my thoughts on this whole thing at the minute. Okay, I've just discovered this uh, cinematic mode setting on the iPhone. I haven't said this, I'm using the iPhone 15 Pro to record all these videos at the minute. But I've just discovered this cinematic setting. <laughs> I won't be going back. Okay, it's dinner time. Basically, I made a promise to myself that I'd start cooking today, but I don't really want to. I'm gonna go get some Thai food. Let's go get some Thai food. Okay, so I've gone for the heavenly beef, which is this, obviously, and some steamed rice. Pretty big portion. This is a significant container with some heft behind it. Yeah, let's, let's eat. Okay, I won't lie, this smells amazing. Okay, that was uh, that was great. That was lovely and very needed. Ate the whole thing, delicious. Bar some green stuff, you know, greens. I have like a maybe a, a protein bar, a little snack, protein yogurt or something later. Gotta get that protein in because you know fitness. I've seen a bit. All right, folks, I'm gonna wrap this video up now here. In terms of YouTube and and what I want to post in the coming weeks and months over here, YouTube is gonna be used primarily for a weekly video or like a a longer form video maybe around a specific topic, like if there's something I want to discuss. And I think I'll move towards TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts for my kind of shorter form day in the life content. Yeah, look, if you're still here, I really appreciate it. I uh, I watched some of the footage back and I realized I probably sound a little bit down in that clip about like just talking about Australians. So I, I, I do love it so far, just to make that clear. I, I'm really enjoying being back I really appreciate the fact that this is now my job. This is a choice I've made where everything is, is on me again. You know, like my, my own success or my own failure is back on me. It's scary, but it's really fun. Please be sure to give the video a big old like. Why did I do that? Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all again very soon, probably tomorrow on YouTube Shorts. So keep an eye out for that. Cheers.